This story is called Tiki Tiki Tembo. It's kind of a silly made-up story. Part of it has its roots in Japan uh, from a Japanese folktale folk tale called Jugumu. Uh, part of it has some memories of what people in America think about old China. Um, but it's just meant to be a silly folk tale. It was written by a woman from Cleveland, Ohio, Arlene Moselle. She was a professor of library science. And the artist is a man named Blair Lent. He was an artist who worked all of his life in the Boston area. And they collaborated to make this fun book for children. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, it was the custom of all the fathers and mothers in a certain part of China to give their first and honored sons great long names. But second sons were given hardly any name at all. In a very small mountain village, there lived a mother who had two little sons. Her second son she called Chang, which is a family surname and really means prosperous or flourishing. But for him, the, main, the name meant little or nothing. Her first and honored son she called Tiki Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo Cherry Berry Ruchi Pip Perry Pembo, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Every morning, the mother went to wash in a little stream near her home. The two boys always went chattering along with her. On the bank was an old well. Don't go near the well, warned the mother, or you will surely fall in. The boys did not always mind their mother. And one day, they were playing beside the well, and on the well, when Chang fell in. Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruji Pip, Perry Pembo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother, and said, Most Honorable Mother, Chang has fallen into the well. The water roars, little blossom, I cannot hear you, said the mother. Then... Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi Pip, Perry Pembo, raised his voice and cried, Oh, most honorable one, Chang has fallen into the well. Ah, oh, that troublesome boy, answered the mother. Run, get the old man with the ladder to fish him out. Then Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi Pip, Perry Pembo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him, to the old man with the ladder, and said, Old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. Will you come and fish him out? So, said the old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. And he ran as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well, picked up little Chang, and step over step, step over step, brought him out of the well. He pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him and soon Chang was just as good as ever. For a time, everyone was happy, as happy as they are at great festivals and parades. Now for several months, the boys did not go near the well, but... After the festival of the eighth moon, they ran to the well to eat their rice cakes. They ate near the well, they played around the well, they walked on the well, and Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Rooch Pip, Perry Pembo fell into the well. Chang ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Oh, most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi Pip, Perry Pembo has fallen into the well. The water roars, little one. I cannot hear you. <sighs> so little Chang took a deep breath. <gasps> oh, Mother Most Honorable, <sighs> he panted. Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi Pip, Perry Pembo has fallen into the well. Tiresome child, what are you trying to say? said his mother. <sighs> Honorable Mother, <sighs> Cherry Berry, Rumbo, Tiki Tiki, he gasped. Pip, Pip has fallen into the well. 
unfortunate son. Surely the evil spirits have bewitched your tongue. Speak your brother's name with reverence. Oh, poor little Chang was all out of breath from saying that great long name, and he didn't think he could say it one more time. But then he thought of his brother in the old well. Chang bowed his little head to clear to the sand and took a deep breath and slowly, very slowly said, Most Honorable Mother, Tiki Tiki, Tembo no Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry, Ruchi Pip Perry Pambo, <laughs> is at the bottom of the well. Oh no, my first and honored son, heir of all I possess. Run quickly, tell the old man with the letter that your brother has fallen into the well. So Chang ran as fast as his little legs would carry him to the old man with the ladder. Under a tree, the old man with the ladder sat, bowed and silent. Old man, old man, shouted Chang, come right away. Tiki Tiki Tembo No Sa Rembo Cherry Berry Rooch Pip Perry Pembo has fallen into the stone well. But there was no answer. Puzzled, he waited. Then, with his very last bit of breath, he shouted, Old man with the ladder! Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry Rooch Pip Perry Pembo is at the bottom of the well! Oh, miserable child, you disturbed my dream. I had floated into a purple mist and found my youth again. There were glittering gateways and jeweled blossoms. If I close my eyes, Perhaps I will again return. Poor little Chang was frightened. How could he say that great long name again? Please, old man with the ladder, please help my brother out of the cold well. <sighs> so, said the old man with the ladder, your mother's precious pearl has fallen into the well? And off they went, scurrying as fast as their legs could carry them. Up the hill to the well, the old man with the ladder hurried as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well, and step over step, step over step, out of the well with the little boy in his arms. Then he pumped the water out of him, and pushed the air into him, and pumped the water out of him, and pushed the air into him. But little Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Sa Rembo, Cherry Berry Ruchi Pip Perry Pembo had been in the water so long, all because of his great long name, that the moon rose many times before he was quite the same again. And from that day to this, so they say, the Chinese people in that little part of China have always thought it wise to give all their children little short names instead of great names long, long names. They live there in this mountainous part of China still, so people say, and live happily ever after. The end. If you want to find another beautiful book about old China, there's a book called Ruby's Wish by Shirin Yin. Y-I-M. Yim. Um, it's worth finding. You can look for that one. Um, there's a book about names uh, by a Korean author. That book is called The Name Jar, and it's by Yang Suk Choi, last name C-H-O-I. You might like both of those books.